Is cloud chasing worth it? Me personally, is yeah. cloud chasing worth it? I don't cloud chase shit. I do what I want to do. If that's called cloud chasing, then I guess I cloud chase. But to me, like when you say cloud chase, that shit sound lame. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. You gotta, you gotta be yourself. You can't. Yeah, that's some, that's some other stuff. You've seen people cloud chase though. Hell yeah. Is that dangerous? Is cloud chasing dangerous? Cloud chasing dangerous? Like when you talk about people like six nine, like. That's too much to me. That's too much to me. This these folks ain't worth losing my life. I ain't beefing with nobody or trying to fake beef with nobody. That shit ain't worth my life. Period. Hell no. Nah. Like no. Nah. I ain't even trying to beef with nobody for real. For real. Damn sure not for fake. Like no. Nah. We trying to get money. Fuck all that. Can a rapper be successful from cloud chasing? Yeah, a lot of people are successful from cloud chasing. Like, I don't feel like Six Nine is successful from cloud chasing, but a lot of the talk, like the publicity, be from cloud chasing. You know, but his overall success not from cloud chasing. But it is some people that just cloud chase and they famous, and that's what they do. Is this temporary or long term success temporary, for one's career? Temporary, Lord Jesus, temporary. I mean, it's temporary, like. If you're going to do that forever now, if you use it to get on, then you change your whole everything, then cool. Like, then, then it might be longevity. But if you if you coming in with that mindset and you can't plan on keeping that mindset, yeah, you ain't going to be here long. Some people use it to get on, though.